Welcome to episode 7 of my building the Black Pearl the ZHL version, the uh, 2021 Golden Edition. And you can tell I've made some progress, so let's get right into the video and I'll show you how I got this far. I'm working my way through the planking and you can see I've got some kind of strange overlapping, but this is the under layer, so none of this will show. And I've been using a file as I go, just a regular wood file, to keep the edges as smooth as I can. Now here I've got a pretty good layer difference, and I don't know if you can really see it. That's what I'll fill with the wood filler. But the rest of this I have pretty smooth. I'll, I'll do a coating of the wood filler over the entire thing to give it a nice smooth finish. But the planking is going slow. I take my time. I have pre-glued this piece in just up to here. I'll let that dry and then I'll fit in this piece and end it right back there. I've gone ahead and put the electrical connector jack in. I wished I had waited a little bit. I should have sanded this first. And I've actually bolted it in. There's a little nut that goes on the back and then I put some super glue on it because I don't want that to loosen because I'll never be able to get back into it. But everything is working as far as the electrical system and the lights. And I use a variety of different ways to put these clips on. Sometimes that direction it kind of pushes them closer together. I skipped a couple here because it was nice and tight. There's another style. And then on the back end to get that in I just use a regular clamp and then this unusual clamp is pushing that together so I don't have a line of space there. So that's my techniques on planking and as you can tell I'm going to be done with the first layer here shortly. I've finished the first layer of planking and I've done some uh, using a file to get it pretty level and some sanding also. Now I'm going to use uh, wood filler and I picked the one that is interior and exterior because it says that you can use a high speed sander on it. Um, the other one apparently was more sensitive, so I thought I'd do something that was more substantial. I've got a couple things to put it on with. I wish I had a, a larger plastic one. This metal one I don't think will work too well because it's too stiff. But I think I'll also just use my hands and work it into these crevices and the little cracks. Let me let that dry a little bit. I'll do the other side and then I'll show you what it looks like after I do some sanding. I have the first layer of planking done. I have it sanded. I have it mudded and I'm fairly happy with the, uh, the smoothness of it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the mahogany stain on all of it except for around these windows. And I do that because I want it to absorb into this in case there is some sort of little crack or something you could see through. Or, you know, if it gets a little nick in it or something, I suppose. So all the wood that goes on the outside and all the appointments and all the extra uh, black walnut things, they'll be the dark mahogany. 
So let me get busy on getting the stain on this part. I have the ship stained to the color that I want and the outside hull is, is ready to be planked and the kit does come with a lot of uh, the black walnut. Now this is the real thin uh, walnut that goes on the outside skin and I just happen to have a lot more black walnut available. So this was designed to really go on the outside, the deck, up these uh, side rails. But I want to make the side rails a little heavier and because I have quite a bit of black walnut, I'm going to work this in here. And I've checked it won't make it too thick, it'll just make it a little more substantial. So I, the instructions would have you do the outside hole first, but I'm going to do the deck and that's because I need to work from the center of the deck outward both directions and I want to be able to then put this side rail piece to cover any small gap that there might be. My reason for uh, planking the deck and the side rails first is I want to put anchors in that hold the cannons, those uh, like eye bolts here and here and go to each cannon and if I go ahead and put the planking on the inside, then I can drill holes from the outside on each side. That'd be easier to do than trying to drill in here. And then the uh, black walnut planks that go on the outside will cover up the holes. That's my logic in doing the deck and the side rails before I do the outside. The other thing that I do that it doesn't show in the instructions, I pre-stain all of the decking and all of the planking, especially the finished product, because if you're gonna stain, for me, if I've ever gotten glue a little bit on the outside, then the stain won't take. So I pre-stain everything. Uh, so I'll be in the process of doing that. And I'm going to be working on this back part, it comes with a, oh, kind of a square piece of balsa wood. I've been working on a, a pre-made piece of decorative trim that I think that'll give you an idea of what that's going to look like. And I think I'll like this quite a bit better. So I don't know how well you can see that, but I will like that look a lot better. So that'll be something to look forward to in episode eight, as well as me uh, putting some of the planking on the deck. That's gonna be it for episode seven of my Building the Black Pearl, the golden version for 2021, made by ZHL. Very happy with the model so far. Now is where I need to slow down and make sure I get everything just right, because from now on, everything I put on the ship shows. As always, thanks for watching.